I'd like to welcome you all and thank you very much for coming to this event. Um, it's just incredible and rather emotional for me to see so many people here. For the first time in our seemingly short history in the fire service, we have documented proof. Not only that we had a black presence in the London fire service during the war, but actually we had a black hero in British society, not only during the World War II, but also for his efforts and his bravery at the Somme. I truly believe that people like George are the reason why we have such great black firefighters in the London Fire Brigade. And it's very fitting in this, our 150th birthday of the London Fire Brigade, that we celebrate people like George, who stood up and made a difference. I convey sincere best wishes from the government and people of the Republic of Trinidad and Tobago unveiling of the black. Thank you very much. I'd like to thank the many, many people who've made this happen today. I've placed my thank yous on the back of this programme. But I would like to say thanks to the many people, in particular the London Fire Brigade, who have just bent over backwards to make this a wonderful day. The Southwark Heritage Association has produced this fantastic car. My friends and family who have supported me, in particular my wonderful husband, Mr Eric Gordon. And the many people made this happen today. You are all very welcome to come to a reception afterwards at Peckham Fire Station with food and drink. I hope to cover all of you. I wasn't <laughs> expecting these numbers. <laughs> and uh, please uh, go with my, with my thanks, uh, my most humble thanks to Mr Herbert, the High Commissioner, the Mayor and all the many people who've made this happen today. Thank you very much indeed. Basically, when I heard he'd been nominated for the Blue Plaque and then won it in a public vote, I suppose I sat up a little bit and thought, oh, hang on, this isn't just our great granddad who had done all these legendary things. You kind of suddenly realise that this guy has a lot more significance to a lot more people than just us in the family. It was the energy and vigour. Here was a man who just said, look, let's not think about this, get up and do it. Uh, and that's the important part. Don't be disheartened because you can imagine the incredible racism he must have faced in 1916. I've spoken to the firefighters and I think they're quite pleased to find that they had a forerunner. And um, I think he'd be proud again that, you know, they have found him and that they can learn from him and that it can inspire perhaps youngsters. If he could be a fly on the wall, he would have, all this for me. <laughs> You know, so uh, George would have loved it. He would have loved every single minute of it. He would have absolutely loved it. I, I think he he had all the elements of um, many of the elderly Caribbean people who still have a lot of respect for the empire and the notion of empire. So the sight of that blue plaque would have just completely overwhelmed him. And he's already a holder of the Military Service Medal, already a holder of the British Empire Medal. So he's met the Queen, he's done Buckingham Palace, all, all of which he would have been incredibly proud of. And that blue plaque today would have been a, an, almost a pinnacle. Today we see these officers standing up there black and proud and I felt pride within myself. Through it all, he achieved all these things. So the thing I hope he will show people 
don't give up, never give up. Just keep on going and it, just keep doing it. Do it, don't think about it, don't say it, do it. They grow not old as we grow old. Age will not weary them. But at the going down of the sun and in the morning, we shall remember them.